Welcome to Speak Up English. In this video, you'll learn some useful vocabulary and phrases that are commonly used in everyday conversations. This will also be a great opportunity for you to practice and improve your English listening and speaking skills. Listen carefully. Bakery. In a quiet coastal town, Emma ran a small bakery inherited from her grandmother. One day, a renowned food critic visited, sampling her pastries. Impressed, he wrote a glowing review, drawing visitors from neighboring towns. Emma's bakery flourished, becoming a cherished community hub. Grateful for the newfound success, Emma continued to bake with love, creating a haven where locals and travelers alike found comfort in the aroma of freshly baked goods. Interesting vocabulary and phrases. Before we start our speaking practice, let's learn some new words and phrases from our story. This will help you get better at English. Coastal town, a town located near the coast or shoreline. Example, I love spending my vacations in a coastal town, enjoying the sea breeze in sandy beaches. Inherited, received something like property or a business from someone who has died. Example, Sarah inherited her grandmother's antique jewelry, each piece holding sentimental value. Renowned, widely known and admired, usually for a skill or achievement. Example, the artist became renowned for her unique painting style that captivated art enthusiasts worldwide. Sampling, trying a small portion of something to taste or experience it. Example, at the food festival, we enjoyed sampling various cuisines from around the world. Glowing review, an extremely positive and enthusiastic assessment or critique. Example, the movie received a glowing review from critics, praising its brilliant storytelling and exceptional performances. Flourished, grew and developed successfully, often in a thriving manner. Example, with the new marketing strategy, the business flourished, attracting a larger customer base. Cherished, highly valued and loved. Example, the old family photo album was cherished by generations, holding memories of special moments. Community hub, a central place that serves as a focal point for the local community. Example, the community center became a hub for social activities, hosting events and gatherings for residents. Newfound success, recently acquired success or prosperity. Example, after years of hard work, the author celebrated her newfound success with the publication of her first novel. Bake with love, to cook or prepare food with a deep sense of care and affection. Example, grandma always said the secret ingredient was to bake with love, making her cookies extra special. Haven, a place of safety, comfort, or refuge. Example, after a long day at work, her cozy home became a haven where she could relax and unwind. Aroma of freshly baked goods, the pleasant, distinctive smell produced by recently baked food items. Example, the neighborhood was filled with the irresistible aroma of freshly baked bread from the local bakery. Now it's time to practice. Repeat after me. In a quiet coastal town. In a quiet coastal town. Emma ran a small bakery inherited from her grandmother. Emma ran a small bakery inherited from her grandmother. One day. One day. A renowned food critic visited. A renowned food critic visited. Sampling her pastries. Sampling her pastries. Impressed. Impressed. He wrote a glowing review. He wrote a glowing review. Drawing visitors from neighboring towns. Drawing visitors from neighboring towns. Emma's bakery flourished. Emma's bakery flourished. Becoming a cherished community hub. Becoming a cherished community hub. Grateful for the newfound success. Grateful for the newfound success. Emma continued to bake with love. Emma continued to bake with love. Creating a haven where locals and travelers alike found comfort in the aroma of freshly baked goods. Creating a haven where locals and travelers alike found comfort in the aroma of freshly baked goods.
Fantastic work today. Remember, each lesson brings you closer to fluency in English. Keep up the practice and soon you'll be sharing your own stories confidently. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun English lessons. See you soon. Goodbye and happy learning.